Hello, and welcome to my buying a business video. Let's get to it. Here are 10 things that every potential buyer of a business should consider when buying a business. Number one, understand your motivation. This is the time for you to meditate and really understand why you want to buy a business. The wrong motivation can lead to potential disaster, but the right motivation will breed success. I can't tell you what wrong motivation means as it's personal to everyone, but you'll know if it's right or not. The same works for determining the right motivation. Find the right motivation and you will succeed. Number two, know your budget to live and know your budget to buy. This is absolutely critical. Ideally, save up to six months of savings or more if you're going to buy a business. Also, make sure you know how much you actually will have to buy a business. For example, if you have $100,000 to buy a business, I would suggest using 70% of that amount to buy a business and the other 30% you will use for operating or marketing expenses after you close the business. Also, find out if you'll be seeking a bank loan or a line of credit. Banks are all about the credit score. Be realistic with how much you actually have and just plan accordingly. Number three, know what you're good at. Take inventory of your skill set, whether it's educational, certifications you've received, or just work experience that you've had throughout your life. The best scenario is to buy a business where you have the same type of industry experience. If you don't have that type of experience, but want to get into another industry, well, no worries. You can still be successful, but make sure that the seller trains you very well and also take the time to train yourself, research, watch videos, read industry material that will help you learn a lot more. Number four, start your search with a business broker. Like I've said before, Doctors treat patients and chefs cook food. Business brokers, will we help buyers find businesses. That's what we're trained to do. We help search for potential businesses based on the type of business that the buyer wants to buy, how much they're willing to pay, and for example, where they want the business to be located, whether it's in a particular state, city, or location within a city. There's a lot of value that we can bring to the table from the pre-purchase stage all the way to closing. Number five, don't fall in love at first sight. You need to date around before you commit to making an offer to buy a business. Comparing and contrasting different businesses of interest is a vital task. A knee-jerk reaction to buy a business can be potentially devastating. Take your time because buying a business is a huge decision in your life and maybe one of the biggest decisions you'll make in your life. Number six, Confidentiality is a must. Expect to sign a confidentiality or non-disclosure agreement before you get any detailed information, documentation, especially the financials. Listen, a business owner is going to want to protect their information that they have, and it only makes sense that they're going to require you to sign a confidentiality agreement. The last thing that they want is to share this information with potential competition or that this information can be used against them. So go ahead and sign a confidentiality agreement. Number seven, review the documentation. After you sign the confidentiality agreement, you should be provided with preliminary financial and company documentation and information that will just generally better help you understand the numbers so that you can see if the purchase price or the business makes sense to you. Number eight, finally make the offer. Once you've reviewed the preliminary information and documentation, and you determine what you believe the purchase price should be and that it's a proper fit for you, then make an offer. Usually you'll make an offer through a letter of intent or an asset purchase agreement. Be prepared to make a good faith escrow deposit with the closing attorney or with the broker. The amount of the escrow deposit really varies. There's nothing by law that requires you to have to put a percentage. However, typically the industry is that it's five to 10% of the purchase price. But again, this is all negotiable and it can be structured to be refunded back to you if certain contingencies are not met. For example, if you're seeking financing from a bank and you don't obtain it, then those monies, escrow monies can come back to you. Number nine, do your homework. Typically you'll have between two to four weeks to do your homework. 
or what we call the due diligence period, which is a time for you to review all of your financial and company documentation. During this period of time, you can walk away if you don't like what you see and receive your escrow monies back. Or you can renegotiate the price and see if you can come to terms on a different type of purchase price. The due diligence period is finally the time where you should determine if you're going to buy the business or not. And number 10, coffee are for closers. The infamous closing day. It's a very scary but exciting moment for everybody. Almost always an attorney will act as a closing agent. He'll be the one who will prepare all of the closing documentations and typically that closing attorney is a neutral party to the transaction and they prepare all of the closing documents. Make sure that you wire all the monies to the escrow agent, usually the day before, if everything is checked out. Make sure the new lease has been negotiated and actually signed. And then also make sure to transfer all of the utilities and other type of bills or vendors over to your new company name. Now I will do a separate video just on how to prepare for closing and post-closing items. And there you have it. 10 things that every buyer of a business should consider either before buying the business or during the buying process. For more information on this topic, visit our website, our YouTube channel, or contact me for a free consultation. Leave any comments and subscribe below. Thank you.